two Japanese car giants Honda and Toyota haven't really gone up against each other for a while now. But that's about to change because Toyota with the Yaris is going up against the Honda City which has been the mainstay for the past two decades. So has Toyota delivered a knockout punch with the Yaris or the Honda City is still the car to buy in this segment. With them setting a few thousand rupees apart, it's going to be a very intense battle. Apart from some striking elements like the sharp nose section and the stylish headlamps, the Yaris looks conventional and it's a design that won't offend anyone. Even the tiny 15-inch wheels look boring and so does the tail section, with the shapely tail lamps being the only stylish touch. The city on the other hand, even after being on sale for more than 4 years, looks modern and balanced. The sophisticated full LED headlamps and the prominent grille gives it lots of presence. Even the sharply cut 16-inch wheels and the deep crease on the doors make it look dynamic. Overall, the Honda City definitely catches your eye and it is a car that will appeal to the youth. Now, the Yaris is 4 years younger to the City, but surprisingly it looks older of the two. Sure, the dash layout is very easy to get used to, but it looks a bit too simple and doesn't really have the flair of the City. In terms of quality, it's not that great, but City is not that great either, so there's not much to choose between the two on that respect. The City's interior on the other hand looks thoroughly modern, sure, it might look a bit too funky for some, but it looks more special and especially things like the infotainment screen, the touch display for the climate control and the instrumentation looks much nicer than the Yaris. The Yaris has enough space and the seats are well shaped too, but when you compare it to the city, it just doesn't cut it. This is true especially at the rear where the city offers more knee room, width and a more supportive bench. The boot is quite similar on both the cars, with the Yaris having a low loading lip while the City offers a bit more space. Toyota though offers 60-40 split folding rear seats which makes the Yaris more practical. In terms of equipment, it is a bit of a mixed bag. Each of these cars offer their own unique features. The Yaris comes with roof mounted air vents, power driver seat and also a rear sun blind. The city on the other hand offers telescopic steering adjust, an electric sunroof, a modern infotainment system with HDMI compatibility, full LED headlamps and auto dimming rear view mirror. But when it comes to safety, the Toyota inches forward of the Honda as you get 7 airbags and ABS as standard across the range. Plus, on the top VX variant, you also get ESP and traction control. The first thing you would appreciate in the Toyota Yaris is the driving position which is spot on. And finding your ideal driving position is easy thanks to the electric front seat. Uh, even the view outside is unrestricted so it's easy to place the car in traffic. At low speeds, because the engine makes most of its torque at low RPM, there's good pull from the engine especially as compared to the Honda City where it feels more eager. Uh, post which there's a bit of a flat spot in the mid range and post that it starts pulling again. So as I said before, uh, if you're looking for a car with more performance uh, in mind, then the city makes more sense. But this car is more for a guy who likes to drive slowly in a relaxed manner. Uh, other than that, the ride at low speed is really good. It just absorbs biggest of potholes with ease. At higher speeds also, it feels leveled. First thing that you notice as soon as you start driving the Honda City as compared to the Yaris is the low speed ride which is stiff and you can feel almost every bump on the road. And what makes it worse is the sound deadening which isn't that great so you can hear the suspension working. You can also hear the engine a lot more so as far as refinement is concerned the Yaris is definitely better than the City. But on the flip side as soon as you start driving a bit faster the Honda City just feels a bit more connected, where the steering is more direct, the stiffer suspension, there's less roll, so it gives you more confidence and even in a straight line, it is much more stable than the Yaris. Apart from the handling on the Honda City, which is great, even the engine and the gearbox feels more eager than in the Yaris. So the engine revs better 
and the fact that it's got more power, which is around say 7 to 8 bhp more than the Yaris, it just makes driving more effortless. Sure, the Yaris feels a bit better at low speeds where because it makes torque at a lower RPM, so it pulls better. But uh, post that, the city is better in every way. And plus, it's got an S mode, which just makes the car much faster, much nicer. There's more connection with the accelerator pedal, which is really good when you consider that it's a CVT. So, as far as driving is concerned, the Honda City is much more fun and just a better car. The Yaris delivers exactly what you expect of a Toyota. It is comfortable, has a spacious cabin, is loaded with features and the ride is very comfortable too. Plus, if you're looking to buy one of the lower variants of these cars, we would recommend to go for the Toyota because they offer 7 airbags as standard across the range. But what it lacks is a bit of flair and emotional appeal which the city delivers in spades. On top of that, the city is nicer to drive, has some unique features, and it feels and looks the richer of the two. Despite being four years older, the city is still a better car and is our clear winner.